Hi guys and welcome to the video. Today I have Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with me and today we are going to take a look at the Android 7.1.2 Android Nougat ROM Resurrection Action Remix 5.8.3 for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Okay, as So this time I am going to split this video into three parts. So in the first part we are going to take a look at this ROM, what features it includes now, um, all new features and I am also going to show you how stable this ROM is. Um, right. In the second part we are going to take a look at how to install this ROM and in the last part we are going to talk about the future of this channel, about the future videos and about this um, shit which happened there. Um, yeah, so now let's start with the video. So this video is basically an updated review of Resurrection Remix for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So I had already reviewed the Resurrection Remix for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. You can basically watch this video also to see all the features this ROM includes. So I'm not going to show you all of the features because this ROM is a full feature packed ROM. So I'm going to show you all the new features um, or which seem to be new here. And yeah, so now let's start with the uh, new features of this ROM now. So as I said already, I can't show you all of these features of this ROM now, just because there are too many of them. So um, yeah, so now let me show you all the best features of this ROM and the new features um, of Resurrectionomics. So as you may already know, Resurrectionomics has this pixel theme. So the phone looks, um, or the system looks just like the pixel phone this is with this blue accent color here and this darker background. And also the settings app looks just like the pixel phone. Um, yeah, so um, as you may already know the um, configuration options or the customization options of Resurrection Remix are located here in the configurations um, option in the settings here and here you can basically customize your phone um, as you like. So here we have different tabs as you can see, we have this, you can basically customize the status bar, you can customize the panel and all that. I had already uh, reviewed almost all of these features in the previous video, you can basically watch them and yeah so now let's take a look at all of the new features here so um, in the status bar option there are almost no new um, um, features available or customization options available but in the panel um, category there are small differences or small new features so if we go into the notification panel here here we can go to no notification view and you can enable a carrier or your Wi-Fi network name so if um, if we pull down a notification panel here you can see it says no notification and if we enable show carrier name you can see that it also shows your carrier over there and you can also enable the Wi-Fi network name which is really amazing to see um, yeah, you can of course also change the color of um, the, uh, of the label here. For example, you can make it red, and as you can see, everything will be red now, um, including including the no notifications label. And yeah, of course, you are able to um, set up a quick settings shade stroke as you were able to do um, before. So you can basically. Um, Enable and stroke here, and you can see it looks just nice with this red notification, with this red label and this uh, blue stroke there. Um, it's a nice combination, and here you can still change the thickness of the stroke and the radius and all that. So there's nothing um, new there. So on the volume panel option, there are also some small new changes. Of course, you can set up uh, set up a stroke there also. But now they've added something like volume dialog timeout. I think there um, this option wasn't there before, um, but actually it does not work that nice. So if you set up something like um, two thousand milliseconds or two seconds, actually. Um, as you can see, it works just fine. But if you set something like 100 milliseconds, it, um, it does not work actually that great, um, yeah. So on the previous version I have uh, I had reviewed on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, um, there wasn't there weren't any option called Slim Recents in North Direction Remix, so they have added this nice feature here, and you can see this is the new um, recent uh, panel with um, with the uh, 
which basically looks like the KitKat um, panel, you know. And there are also some small changes for um, this panel. You can make the, um, you can change the amount of the maximum allowed apps. You can change the size of this panel here. Um, and yeah. Another nice thing uh, which seems to be new is that is the fingerprint authentication vibration. So every time you unlock your phone with your finger, it will vibrate, but you can basically turn off this thing from here. And now after that, the phone won't vibrate anymore. Um, as you can also see, you can also see that this um, ROM inc has this direct fingerprint unlock, so you don't need to wake up the phone to um, use your finger to unlock your phone. So you can directly unlock your phone, which is really amazing on AOSP-based ROMs. So these were almost all features which uh, are new in Ursa Original Mix with Android 7.1.2 but there are also some stock Android related um, updates so um, or some new features. On older versions of Android you need to pull up the pull up the uh, app driver from the dock here so you need to um, pull it uh, up from the bottom here but now you can pull um, the notification panel app up from everywhere everywhere on the screen so you can pull it uh, pull it up from the middle of the screen you can pull it up even from the top of the screen and the um, and you are um, in the app driver then so you don't need to pull it up from the bottom anymore which is one of the biggest changes of Android um, 7.1.2 and yeah Another nice thing of Android 7.1.2 is that it also has um, a new gallery app. So as you can see, you now have this um, new gallery which um, has better categories at the bottom here. So here you have a timeline, here have your albums and here have your videos. So it is much easier to, um, <clears throat> to switch between these tabs here, which is really amazing to see. So it makes, um, so it it's much easier to use now. Another nice thing or funny thing actually is that you have two file managers on board. You get the Lineage OS file manager, which um, I personally don't like that much, but you also get another file manager, um, which um, is even worse than that. So it is. So you don't get you get two file managers together with this ROM, but actually none of these are um, really good to, uh, for your daily usage. So I would prefer to use um, a third party file manager with this ROM, but um, I just wanted to know, mention that here that you get two file managers with this ROM. So after talking about all of these new features um, of this ROM, let's talk about the bugs. So um, there are still the same bugs in this ROM here, but the battery life seems to be improved a lot. And so many people say that they are getting a much higher um, screen off time and um, I haven't used that ROM that long, so I can't say anything about that. But um, if we go into the RAM usage here, you can see it uses um, about 40% of the whole RAM, which is really less. I mean, other ROMs or touchless based ROMs use always more than 50%, and this ROM uses less than, um, it uses like 40%. So this is a good point here. And Yes, you can see it works just fine, so there are no lags and it's even more smoother than it was on Android 7.1.1. But there's still this um, annoying auto rotation bug in this ROM, so as you can see I've enabled the auto rotation here, but if you um, tilt your phone you can see it does not work always. And the um, and if you play a music track, for example, it will also, it, it's, it's not playing, the it hasn't got the best quality. Um, yeah, this is something which we also need to mention. So the camera seems to be improved on this ROM too. So let's open the stock camera here and um, let's try to take a picture of my homework here. And as you can see, it's, um, it's working just fine here. So you can read the fonts without any issues. So the, um, the, uh, the you won't get the best experience still with this camera, but um, it's still okay for your daily usage and it shouldn't be a big problem. So yeah, this was basically it. So there are not big um, differences between between Android 7.1.1 and Android 7.1.2. So yeah, so now let's move on to part two. So to install this ROM, you need TWR pre-recovery installed on your device. So make, be sure that you have installed it. And to flash this ROM, you just need to power off your device.
After that you need to press the volume up button, the home button and the power on button at the same time to get to the recovery mode. Here in the recovery mode you need to do a wipe first, I would recommend you to um, to wipe the derelict, the system, the data and the cage. After that go to the install option here and locate your ROM, in my case it's in the internal storage. Just locate your ROM and press on it and swipe to flash. After the flashing process is completed, you need to um, flash your G apps. But I've um, I haven't I haven't downloaded any G apps, so you can basically download the G apps from the description of this video and flash with the same um, process. And after that, you can basically reboot to your system. So as you can see the phone boosted up now and yeah this was basically it. After that you need to set up your device and you are good to go. So yeah this was the video. Um, now let's move on with the third part of this video. So as you can see I've broken the glass over here of uh, the S7 here. Um, so this basically happened with a small accident. Uh, I just dropped my phone and it basically it looks, it looks kind of bad if you look closely here so there's a big crack here and there are small cracks on the screen it ba basically doesn't look that nice so and the thing is that um, it costs uh, too much to um, repair this screen here so I, um, I don't know if I should repair the screen um, so I think it's more worth to buy a new phone maybe the Galaxy S8 or the uh, or the upcoming Galaxy Note 8 um, yeah, so I will still make videos on this phone, of course, but I'm I don't know if I should repair this phone. So I just wanted to say that I plan to buy new phones, and if you want, uh, and if you have ideas about um, the next about the next phone I could buy, you can basically write them in the comment section here. And yeah, this was basically it. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give a dislike. And peace out.